Hello everyone, welcome to the course of Process Modeling and Simulation. I am your course instructor, Engineer Mohammad Hari Samayo, working as lecturer at Department of Chemical Engineering, Comsets University, Islamabad, Lahore campus. And the module which we are covering these days is related to the physical properties and thermodynamic models. In our today's exercise, we will focus on the problem number eight, and it is related to the development of TXY. PXY XY diagram for a binary mixture. So let's go to this case study and check what are the simulation requirements, how we can simulate it, and how we can extract our required results. So each diagrams with benzene toluene. So we have been given the benzene toluene binary mixture, and for this mixture, we have to plot TXY, PXY, and Y X diagram. The objective of this simulation is learn how to plot T X Y, P X Y, and X Y diagram of the mixture. Means our first objective is to learn how to plot these diagrams and require input skills in properties and analysis. So this objective is matching with CLO number one, which requires the input skills, and CLO number four, where we will do the plotting and do the analysis. Problem description is that for this binary mixture, which is the benzene toluene mixture, draw TXY diagram at 1 atm and 2 atm. PXY diagram at 50 degree centigrade. YX diagram at 1 atm and 50 degree centigrade. So, our first task, as you know, is to add the components first. We will first add benzene and toluene in the component ID, then we will select the ideal property package. And then, if you remember in our previous exercises, especially in PT diagram, we had selected pure here, but it was a single component, pure component. But now it's a binary mixture, so we will click binary. And after that, in binary analysis, first we will select the TXY as analysis type. After that, we will select it as PXY diagram. And benzene and toluene are selected as components. The mole fraction are already given from zero to 1 with 0 as minimum and 1 as the maximum. After that, change the value of pressure over here, which is depicted in the next slide, that it's 1 atm and 2 atm. And followed by it, in the calculation option, change valid phases to vapor liquid from vapor liquid liquid because you are dealing with a two phase mixture, not a three phase mixture or it's a binary mixture. So you will deal with vapor liquid and then you see you will get the plot at 1 atm and at 2 atm let me briefly take you to this plot that this region the region below this line is subcooled region because it's a thermodynamic property or the thermodynamic graph this blue line represents the saturated line and each point on this line represents the bubble point that's why we we'll call it as saturated liquid line. In this region, two phase mixture exists, and then this pink line represents the saturated vapor line at which vapor exists, and each point is known as the dew point. And above this, the region is called superheated region. So if you go back to thermodynamics, you can check. That's how TXY diagrams are plotted. Because basically, क्या होता है बच्चे कि ये वाला जो region होता है ये sub cooled region इसको हम कहते हैं. जो ये region होता है इस के अंदर जो mixture है ये two phase mixture है. इसका मतलब है इसकी एक boundary पे vapor है और एक boundary पे liquid है. यहाँ पे जो liquid boil होके इधर जा रहा है तो हम इस point को कहते हैं bubble point. और यहाँ से vapor liquid में जा रहा है तो इसको हम कहते हैं dew point. और इससे ऊपर वाला जो region होता है वो super heated region होता है. Same applies for this. But do not confuse that this whole region is superheated or not because you have plotted two different pressures. If you plot one pressure, then you will be able to understand this concept as well. Similarly, you can check the results over here as well. Then go to analysis type, change it to PXY and in temperature, specify the value of 50 degree centigrade and again run analysis. And now you will get a different graph. And here the schemes are different. If you see, this blue line represents the saturated liquid line. 
this region is subcooled region this is a saturated liquid line this blue line this green line is a saturated vapor line and two phase mixture exist in this region and this is superheated region this is the bubble point this is dew point you can verify it from literature that the aspen is calculating the same graphs as provided in the literature ki ye aapki liquid line hai ye aapki vapor line hai इधर जो भी पॉइंट होगा वो जा रहा है लिक्विड से वेपर में तो ये हम उसको कहेंगे बबल पॉइंट और सिमिलरली यहां से वेपर में लिक्विड में जा रहा है वेपर से लिक्विड में जा रहा है तो हम उसको कहेंगे ड्यू पॉइंट ये वाला रीजन सुपर हिटेड है ये सब कूल्ड है और ये टू फेज है सिमिलरली वी विल ड्रॉ द वाई एक्स डायग्राम एंड इफ यू रिमेंबर द साइमटेनियस हीट एंड मैस ट्रांसफर ऑपरेशन क्लास दैट दिस ग्राफ वी यूज इन Design of distillation column using Cape Thiele. That this dotted line is a equilibrium line, and this is the y-axis plot. So it means that Aspen can even generate x-y diagram for you during the design of distillation column. That if you are not getting data from literature or you want to generate it from simulation, then simply come here and plot the graph at your required condition. Currently, the graph is at 1 atm you can change it to 2 atm 3 atm it's up to you or you can change benzene to toluene and observe the graph as well so let's quickly go to aspen plus and solve it firstly we will select our components benzene and toluene and after that we will select ideal property package for this and we will run it to ensure that results are available and there are no warnings in the system since results are available successfully so going to binary tab and click binary and as you see that analysis type available is txy but type of analysis are given txy pxy and gibbs energy of mixing so select txy now component selected component 1 is benzene and component 2 is toluene if you swipe their positions there will be no change on the simulation then in basis it's a mole fraction of benzene from 0 to 1 you can even vary it to toluene and check the results obviously uh, the curve maybe may spread differently let me show you how in calculation options firstly select it as vapor liquid and in binary analysis let me take you first pressure only that it's 1 atm kyunki jo humne baat pehle ki hai usko bhi discuss karna zaruri hai and run analysis once you run analysis then you see you had this graph now this region is known as the subcooled region this blue line is, if you see it's a x x means liquid saturated liquid line and the point on this line is bubble point then the this region between these two lines is two phase mixture means both vapor and liquids are present here this region is the saturated vapor line and each point on this line represents the dew point this region is known as the superheated region similarly if i change it from benzene to toluene and again run analysis then you see the trend has slightly changed it has just tilted it is still subcooled region it is still the saturated vapor line saturated liquid line but it has only tilted from this to this now if i take it back to benzene and add another pressure of 2 atm and again run it then you see you are obtaining the two different graphs this one is at 1 atm this one is at 2 atm as i have shown you in the slides as well so this region is the subcooled region saturated liquid line two phase region saturated vapor line superheated same goes for here so that's how you plot the diagram of txy for benzene toluene mixture now our next task is to develop the pxy diagram for benzene toluene mixture so what we will do we will go back but before going back let me show you that for this component we have selected benzene temperature is selected at degree centigrade pressure is selected at atm if i change it from here from benzene to toluene then you see the curves are just shifted to adjust accordingly to the toluene but the regions are still same i change the analysis type to pxy again it's benzene toluene similarly both components are present Mole fraction of benzene from zero to one with number of intervals is fifty. 
and for temperature we will select 50 degree centigrade as given in the problem statement then we will run analysis and you see you have again obtained a graph this blue line represents the liquid line saturated liquid line this green line represents the saturated vapor line it's a two phase mixture or two phase region this section is subcooled this is a superheated vapor and again it's for benzene if i change it to toluene then the curve will be tilted to other side and similarly you can also vary the units but it will not have any effect on the analysis and if you want to go to the results you can also check the results in the tabular form as well and the graphs are generated using these results as well now our last task in this activity is to generate the y-x diagram similarly if you want to plot the y-x diagram at 1 atm you have to go back to the t-x-y diagram and at 1 atm which is the selected value over here run the analysis and after running the analysis you see the t-x-y diagram is plotted but your objective is to get the y-x diagram so for this you have to go here and select the y-x diagram at 1 atm and you see you have obtained your y-x diagram at 1 atm i have just taken it to here and you see this is the diagram which is useful for you when you are designing the distillation column using mckay thiele method as you have studied in simultaneous heat and mass transfer operations course as well this is the equilibrium line and this is the y x diagram and you see it is finely splitted because you have took a very very small step size if you increase the step size from here by decreasing the number of intervals for example if i reduce it to 40 and analysis is run again then you see these numbers will be or these dots will be further reduced and they have been spaced so you can take the y x values or the x y values of any binary mixture which is available in the s1 library from s1 plus as well similarly if you vary it from benzene to toluene then you see the graph is just tilted that's how you can draw plot txy txy and xy diagram in S1+.